Right, good afternoon everybody and welcome to the uh, the registration line of the two volcano sprint. Uh, as you can see, cap number 44, I've checked in, uh, signed, uh, signed my life away uh, and I'm now uh, ready to race, uh, looking forward to it. Um, so hopefully we're going to go in, uh, see if we can have a chat with Juliana, the race director and organiser of this thing and uh, yeah, see, see what she's got to say about what we are facing. But, uh, right, good afternoon everybody. We're now live from the registration of the two volcano sprint here in Napoli. And I'm sat here with uh, Juliana Burring, uh, race director, race organizer, the evil mastermind behind uh, what's about to <laughs> face us. Uh, well, first of all, Juliana, great to see you again. Um, really good to see you. Juliana, Juliana is one of the, f the first people I met at an ultra race and really was uh, kind of quite a significant part of, of welcoming me into this crazy world. Uh, her and Josh took me to the pub and got me drunk after I finished my first race. As one does. As, as one does, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I guess first of all, you must be super happy that we're even here. So excited and really we didn't know to the very last if people would come, if we would be allowed to put it on. Uh, there were so many factors that had me, my stomach in knots for a long time, but I think, I mean, the fact that everyone has come out regardless of you know, the fear around the virus and everything else, it means so much to us, but not just to us, it means so much to the local communities that the race is going to be passing through because it's helping so many um, locals here who have suffered from it. And it, giving everyone a little bit of hope and a little bit of a boost and I think mentally for us cyclists it also yeah, I, you know, and I think we we probably all we're all excited about this. And you know, I was saying to some of the uh, some of the uh, people yesterday, there's must have been so much going on behind the scenes that we're just not even aware of. So I uh, probably thank you from all the riders that we we are here. And we are we do get to race. Thank you for coming out because I know it wasn't easy as well with all the travel <sighs> restrictions and difficulties and logistically yeah. um, a nightmare for everyone. So I think that the easiest part now will be everyone riding their bikes. <laughs> I don't think so. Right, so, well, that brings me on to the really important question. Uh, you know, 1,000 kilometres, uh, 24,000 metres of climbing. Um, I don't think that tells the whole story. What can we expect? You can expect a lot of cold up in the mountains and nice and warm down on the coast. You're going to get big temperature extremes, so you're going to have to be thinking about carrying the right kit. Um, last year it rained cats and dogs. This year we are looking at really good weather, so that's already a big plus for riders. Um, and there are less river beds this year than uh. last year. <laughs> okay, well that's good. Less river beds. I wasn't yes, expecting river beds. I have come prepared for cold, and I have to say, looking at some people's lightweight setups, I, I may be in the minority there. Um, yeah. yeah. And I think well, it will be interesting to see who decides to try and sprint the whole thing in one shot. There will be a few mad people who try that, and I think most will try and get in within three day mark, four day mark. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what we're expecting. Okay, so so, yeah. so I'm not gonna. I'm not going to ask you who you think is going to win. Uh, I'm not going to put you on the spot like that. But give me an estimate. When do you think the first person is going to cross the finish line? With considering the bad weather and the more difficult route last year, I would say that this year they're going to shave off at least ten hours from the original time. So I think the first riders are coming in around fifty to fifty-two hour mark. Oh, that's uh, that's punchy uh, for that's, sure. That's if they're not stopping. That's, you know, that's pretty much 10, 11,000 meters of climbing every 24 hours. That's insane. The first, I'd say the first five riders are going to be neck and neck the whole way. So it Probably. means that we won't sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, it's hard, hard for you as the race organiser, for sure. Uh, and it probably means that people are going to be punching threshold up the first climb, which oh, yes. I am not going to be. I am going to at least do a little bit of sleep, and I won't be doing, you know, 11,000 metres of climbing in the day. No, um, smart about it, I would say, yes. Uh, absolutely. Right, well, look, I'll let you get on, because I know this is a busy day for you, but thank you for talking to me, and thank wish you, you all the best of luck with the race. I wish you all the best of luck Yeah, with I, the I don't know who needs the more, more luck there, her or me. Uh, get to probably the end, me. Free wine and beer for Right, well there we go. If that doesn't encourage you to come and sign up for Two Volcano 2021, I don't know what does. Right, awesome. Cheers, Juliana. Cheers. Uh, see you later and enjoy the race. See you later. See you for pizza. Yeah, absolutely. Right, there we go. I think, you know, everyone is just so excited about this. Um, 
just ready to race now.